Hello, welcome back. Welcome back to City Skylines. Now where were we? We just finished trying to fix this traffic. Did we fix this traffic? Not really. If anything, it's pretty bad. Now I wonder if maybe just putting a little bypass here, well, I don't think that's gonna help. Maybe it'll help. The issue here is that we've got a traffic problem further up. What is the traffic problem further up? Is it this bus stop? Or is it just traffic lights and people wanting to turn right? That could be what that is. Do we need to find a way to get people into Laurel Heights from over here? Is that the problem? I think it might be. What if we did a bypass right here? Uh, if we do like a little two lane, we shouldn't need traffic lights, right? Or is that wrong? That's wrong. How do we do this without traffic lights? If we put in a... Does that put in traffic lights? It does. There might not be a way to avoid the traffic lights. I just don't want them. Does that alleviate some of the traffic though? I think it might, and I think those traffic lights might not be an issue. Let's wait and watch. Maybe two lanes? I mean, at this point, what's the, why not Why not just put in a two-lane one-way street as opposed to a little highway ramp? All right, that might help. Uh, let's see what's going on over here. We still have some issues. And again, I don't really fully understand it. Maybe this needs an off-ramp? You mean space already occupied. Maybe that helps? Does that put in a light? It does, but I don't think that's a big issue. I mean, I guess we'll see. Once this traffic flows and people know where they're trying to get to, that might still cause an issue. This is this is starting to become the bane of my existence. You can see that it's tremendously backed up. This is getting tremendously backed up, and the real issue here is that it's getting worse. Now, this little bypass here is helping, I think. A little bit. When this traffic is moving, it's moving. It's fine. It's when this light goes red and this traffic backs up. And I was hoping that this little bypass here would help us deal with that. Now there's a sharp turn, though. I don't really like it. And nobody seems to be taking it, which is another problem. Maybe they're not trying to get into there. Where are they trying to go, then? People are trying to get out. And then there's a little bit more traffic there. Maybe this isn't terrible. It's not total gridlock. It's just slow. Well, this is kind of garbage. And the only reason this stalls is because there's a stoplight. And a bus. The buses are part of the problem. And it's because they're so long that they don't fit. Yeah, it's it's when the buses get there. You know what, we might want to reduce our bus budget. Maybe we have too many buses. I think our city functioned fine, even though there were a lot of people waiting for buses, but now these buses are starting to slow things down. Look at this, this is clear. I think we might have fixed this, for now. In fact, I might even upgrade this. Well, no, if I upgrade this, then we're gonna end up with lights on this side. Although, if it's four lanes going in one direction, maybe that's okay. What I wanted to do was to bring this into here, and then fill in a grid over here. Maybe turn this into Avenue as well. Something like that. And then to bring this down there like that. To bring this over here like that. I don't like how close these are. Well, it might be okay. It depends on how many people try to flow through there. I guess we'll see what happens. But basically, I wanted to fill in in here with something. I was thinking of doing it kind of like this. Watch this. Yeah, we'll do grass. We'll do grass in here. But basically, I was going to have, you can come off here, come down here like this. Or you could come up here. I kind of like that. I like that these are not perfectly on their grid. I think what I'm going to do... I think I want to do that, because I want to fill in... That's not what I wanted. Well, it is, but... Okay, that's fine, actually. It is a little bit of what I wanted. Because I do want this to be more of that school district. So I do want any of the housing that ends up on here to be the low residential, low-density residential. But I did also want to bring the school up into here. That Robin Institute of Humanities. Because I think we unlocked a little bit more for it that we haven't placed yet. Okay, so before we do that, let's put in some walking paths. Can I... We're going to lose some of this residential housing. It's almost good. I think I need to fix... Got to fix where this ends. I like that. I like having these little raised pedestrian paths to continue our little school walking district, you know? Okay, so now we can start putting in things like this statue and this liber liberal arts commencement office and the art club. 
Oh, we are now a capital city. That was easy. Our <laughs> next step is the colossal city, but that's unlocked uh, universities and the university paths. We now put in a cargo harbor, an American football stadium. Oh, yeah. There's a lot of options here. Ships. That's awesome. I want the library on an actual road. And then do we put in another fountain over here, maybe? Maybe another cafeteria in walking distance? Outdoor study. Um, we already have one of these, but, you know, I don't think it hurts to put in another one. Another groundskeeping maybe out here is not a bad idea. I need to fill in the, the water, too. And then I'm thinking a couple dorms. Put one there. Oh, I just barely can't cram them in there. I can put two there. And then, can I put a study hall anywhere over here? I don't think so. What is this, groundskeeper? We already got one of those. Another drama club? Sure. In City Skylines 2, you'll automatically run your pipes and your power with through roads, which is pretty cool. Not gonna lie, I'm looking forward to that. That's gonna be pretty awesome. All right, we're gonna zone in a little bit more of this low-density residential as well. I just want to make sure that it's matching up to where this district goes. Sure. Does it run over here? It does. I mean, even if this doesn't perfectly match the style, this is going to be okay. Yeah, just like that. And that's all student housing again as well. And then we need a little bit more commercial. We can finish filling in this leisure district, I think. Then this is all tourism down here. Do Did we ever put in any more hotels? Or even were those? Little rental cabin? What's this one? Town hostel? Oh, is this blue, like, a place that we want to put that? Is that what that means? Probably. Yeah, let's put a hostel right here by the school. Makes a little bit of noise, but who cares? Rental cabins. Ah, I see. It's showing me where is a good spot to put things. Where the value is high. Okay. So these cabins want to be, like, far away from anything, basically. So if we could plop one down over here. A little rental cabin. Yeah, look at that. I kind of want to be close to a park. A large playground. Does that satisfy you? Sure does. That rental cabin is thrilled. How's our little hostel doing? They hate it. It needs more parks. I mean, realistically, we need more parks down here anyway. Right next to the other park, the other existing park. I think plazas are nice to put in to places like over here. Especially in the office districts, probably. These plazas are a good, good choice. See, our school's looking great. We need more industry. And we could put in more. Actually, have we filled this? No, we can just do this. Is this all lumber industry? We need the police out here. You just make sure. Yeah. Yeah, it is. They need a they need a little police station out here. Do we need a big police station out here? Like, do we put in a police headquarters? I don't think it would hurt. It does take care of pretty much this whole industry area. And then as far as fire coverage goes, like, this place is in danger of burning down at any time. It's lumber industry, so, I mean, we almost want, like, a fire department on that side and probably one on this side, to be sure as well as maybe a high-capacity helicopter fire depot. What is that going to cost me? 170 grand, $2,800 a week to make sure that our whole lumber industry doesn't burn down? I think that's a smart investment, in my honest opinion. Now, what else does our little lumber industry need over here? Maybe just some more tree sapling fields, and then some also just some actual plantations that we can start chopping from. There we go. Now we're talking. It's always raining. It's always raining in our fair city. Why is that? I guess I can't complain. The rain is good for this for this lumber industry. And now things are starting to fill in. If we start to take, take a look at our city from above, we're starting to see some real, real growth happening. And this is still nice over here, and we might do more with it later, because there's still lots of area over here for us to fill in. But everything over here is super happy. Welcome to Bella Notte Pizzeria, where the moon is always full and so are the bellies. Our family-owned pizzeria has been serving up slices of heaven for over three generations. We've got a crust so crispy it could double as a frisbee and a sauce so secret even our nonna doesn't know the recipe. Our pizzas are hand-tossed and trust us, they've got better air time than a pro basketball player. Baked in a traditional wood-fired oven, they come out hotter than a summer in Sicily and the cheese, let's just say our mozzarella could give a stretch limo a run for its 
costs money, but Bella Notte is more than just a pizzeria. It's a place where you can enjoy a slice of the Italian life without the airfare. Our building, located in the heart of town, is so authentically Italian, you'll start saying ciao instead of hello. So why not join us for a meal at Bella Notte Pizzeria? We're located just a short walk from... Well, anywhere, really. We're pretty sure the smell of our pizzas has a five-mile radius. So come on down. We can't wait to serve you a slice of the good life. Bring the whole family to At the Old Grain Mill, old-fashioned family restaurant. At the Old Grain Mill always has the best service and the best home-style meals in town. We'll make sure you always leave At the Old Grain Mill with a smile and a full belly. Now... Be sure that you come down to At the Old Grain Mill Old Fashioned Family Restaurant and not the abandoned grain facility at the edge of town. It's not safe for visitors and poses serious risks to anyone who dares enter that old mill, which was forced to close down years ago. We ordered our sign and uniforms before we learned of the existence of that dangerous old flour mill, so we are not responsible for what happened there on that awful, awful night. We just want to focus on making great meals every night at At the Old Grain Mill. Old-fashioned family restaurant at the Old Grain Mill, from our family to yours. Can you hear it? Listen closely. It's the sound of refreshment. Pop soda refreshment. <sighs> Pop soda. Belch the best. <laughs> The wait is over. It's finally here. Friday night chili bowling at Andy's Bowling Alley. Every Friday night, anyone who buys at least two games of bowling gets a free bowl of chili. So don't wait. Book a lane now. Due to recent incidents, the chili will only be distributed at the end of your visit. That way you can enjoy it wherever you want. In a park, at home, or on a construction site. In the meantime, you'll have all the fun that bowling can provide. So come on back and be reminded that you're not actually that good at bowling. Andy's Bowling Alley. All right. One of the things I've noticed is that we don't really have a lot of tree coverage, do we? Maybe we spend some time, we spend some money filling in some trees. I don't have that tree brush mod, though, which is going to make this a real big pain. Now, what kind of trees are these over here? I could put in some alder trees or some small beech trees. What do we have that's superior? Tree with leaves. Those could, those could be anything. Large trees. What do we, what do we have that's a good large tree? I guess these small beech trees. I just kind of, I just feel like there's a lot of room over here for us to put in some nice trees and to fill in some tree coverage because people have no privacy. Is that too dense or is that the right amount of dense? Maybe small trees is a better thing for me to be putting next to houses. We know that this windmill is here, but maybe by putting in some nice trees here, it's a little bit less annoying. But, I mean, it's also possible that I just don't know what I'm doing. Is that, is that something you want to see in these parts of town? These big birch trees? I don't know. I don't dislike them. It might look nicer once all the bald spots are filled in here. You know, let people still have a bit of a yard. Instead of putting in fences, put in a tree line. I don't know. Let me know in the comments if you think that that makes this part of the city look nice or bad. Because <laughs> I don't really, I don't really know for sure. Put in a few more. Oh, and then we get we get over here where everything's dead anyway. Maybe this is somewhere that's fun to put in, like some big dead trees, like, oh, look at this. Your industry has destroyed these trees. Good work. Looks like an apocalypse happened. That looks cool. I think that looks good. Oh, look, this is, this is just falling apart. I'm starting to be unsure about how to fix this. I thought this would help. 
maybe getting rid of the entrance over here is completely the the plan and then if you want to get into the industrial area you gotta take the highway or come in through these dirt roads let's see what happens let's see if we've just made it significantly worse because now you have to decide is it worth coming all the way up here and driving through all this to get over here or is it better to get onto the highway and then how do you even get off oh you just go yeah, I think that might have been the right choice, and then the garbage trucks will probably do whatever they want to do. They'll take the dirt roads if they got to. And our overall traffic flow is almost at 80% again. This is also a place where, like, this bypass now... No, you don't get to. You don't get to bypass anymore. It's going to take a while for everyone to realize, oh, I can't get over here anymore. Traffic is moving. Let's just speed up time. Let's see if this stops being bottlenecked. Now, is there a traffic light here? There isn't, and that's good. We don't want one. Ah, but there is a traffic light here that is bringing all the traffic to a standstill. Now, can this be fixed? If this is turned into a one-way, let's watch for a little bit here and see what's going on. I think it's just busy, but I don't think it's a bottleneck. Although, let's stop and go. It does back up the highway. Or it did back up the highway. I think we might be okay. I think it's just busy, but our average traffic flow has increased 84% now. So traffic's moving. We're no longer having, like, major bottlenecks that I can see. We, we have busy roads. 84% now. We have busy roads, but we don't have stopped roads, except for here. 82%. I think if I get rid of... If I take this road out, I shouldn't have to take that road out. I should be able to turn one of these into a one-way to get rid of the traffic lights. Let's see what happens. Does that get rid of the traffic lights? It doesn't. But if I do that, does that get rid of the traffic lights? That does. Okay, so let's make sure that we haven't just completely locked off part of the city here. 84%, 85%, I think we're okay with that. This intersection's busy, but it's not gridlocked. This is cleared now. This might actually be one of the worst parts of the city. Actually, we got a little bit of traffic here, but it's moving. That's a stoplight, so it's okay for traffic to stop there. 83, 84% for a city with a population of almost 40,000. I think we're okay with that. This part's busy, but it's like everybody gets to go through when the light turns green. Well, now our number's tanking, actually. It's dropping down to 79%, and I don't know why. No, I think we've got a problem here. Yeah, anytime you see a car disappear, that's the game saying somebody's had to wait way too long. And now that might just be because... So this part's annoying. Because we've got a stoplight here for for a dirt road. I think there's a solution to that. And I think that solution is... Sorry. But we are going to have to ramp this dirt road up and over, I think. Can you do that with a dirt road? Can you build a dirt road bridge? Is that allowed? I mean, I guess we're going to find out. Wait, why is that going up twice? So that gets rid of one intersection. It just turns into a wooden bridge. That's insane. I've never actually tried to make the dirt the dirt road bridge, but it's just wood. It's just an old rickety wood bridge with like brick pillars. That's wild. <laughs> I've never seen that. I like it, but I've never seen it. We're at 81% now. Yeah, there's a lot of traffic now trying to flow through here because it can't get to... All right, I see. Do we turn this into a one-way street? The other way. Always so hard to tell if what you've done is fixing things or just causing bigger issues. 79%? I don't know. That doesn't feel very good. It's also still got a traffic light there, and I kind of wanted to get rid of that. But I guess as long as you have traffic entering, it has to put up a light. I mean, the traffic moves. It just... It backs up, though. Hmm. How can we help that? What if we get rid of this road? Because now we have... We still have a traffic light here. Oh, that's the only way out. That's that's why that's happening. Yeah, we might not... We might... There's something that we might have goofed on here. Because now this is way too busy of a way to get out of this whole area. Although it moves. It just backs up. You know? But three... Three intersections here. But it moves. It's actually starting to get less bad. <laughs> Believe it or not, it's getting less bad. Uh, the longer that we sit here and watch it, the less bad this road is doing. I think it's okay, to be honest. I'm not too concerned about that. This is 
fine. Artemis Street got cut off from Crouching Bison Highway, but it's still okay. It's still it's a major industrial road. Like a, it's basically an industrial artery. I might even upgrade Artemis Street to be like a four lane if it's not already. It's not. Actually, it is already. We're not. There's no issue with it. It's it, traffic flows fine. There's a busy intersection here. There's a busy intersection here. This is a major residential road that might want an upgrade. This intersection's busy, but it's fine. This intersection is busy, but it's fine. It moves. It doesn't back up. So everything over here in low density land is at worst busy, but not never at worst gridlock. Whereas here, this is this is a problem. This area here is a problem where traffic's not moving, and we'll have to figure that out. It's like people trying to get out of this residential area and, and to get back to the main to the main highway, possibly even to get into Laurel Heights here might actually be what's happening. Or even just to get to work. Like people from here might Oh, they don't work over here. So I don't know where these people are going. They just go. Some of them are trying to get down to the tourist area. Some of them are trying to get into the leisure area. I'm like, where does this house go? Oh, it's people coming home from the leisure area. Okay, so that's that's why these roads are busy. But why are these roads getting locked up? I think it's just people coming home from the leisure. It's just busy. That's just all there is to it. It's just busy. I mean, we got four lanes here, so... Yeah, I'm not hating the traffic situation. There's there's problems, but we can fix it. Uh, they they will probably get worse. This is uh this is just busy again because it's the only way to get into this whole industrial section. I almost kind of want to. In fact, I'm going to just quickly connect these up to this little artery here. Sure, it's going to put in some traffic lights, uh, specifically here. But if that keeps this industry moving, I mean, the biggest issue here right now is that we don't have enough workers. There's not enough people that live around here, and we I don't think we've unlocked worker barracks for forestry, have we? Oh, we have. Oh, okay, well, then this this will solve some issues. So just like that, our not enough workers problem probably goes away because people can live here. Is that, is that how that works? They might need to actually live live here. Like, maybe we put in some low-res housing here, or low-density residential housing. You know, you guys, you work here. That's basically, that's all there is to it. All right, for now, I think things are in a decent situation. How's our water look? We could probably use another poo outlet and another another water inlet. Uh, so let's put in another drain pipe, like so. I'll have to check to see what our power situation's like, but I think we've put in a lot of power plants lately. Yeah, we're okay for power. And then maybe one more suck. I think those are fine. I think they're all still able to get water. Looks okay to me. We definitely changed the dynamic of how fast water flows into here by pulling it out. Oh, look at that. That's This is perfect. So we'll be able to put in a printing press to be able to do something with the paper that we're making and store more logs and grow more trees. Fantastic. This is a perfect spot to stop here. See how our city looks. Oh yeah, she's looking cute. I like this. I like our city. Look at the poop. Oh, that's an ocean drain, I think. I think it just drains into the ocean. As long as it doesn't come back down along our little coast here. I don't think it can. It's hard to see outside of the fog, but I don't think that connects up. Yeah, looking good. Things are looking not too shabby. All right, thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed this. There's a lot of traffic management going on right now, but that's pretty much what this game is, and I hope it's fun to watch me struggle <laughs> with it. All right, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, do all that good old YouTube nonsense. We'll see you next time. Goodbye for now.